So I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to select convert into searchable PDF. Click that and I'm going to choose embed text information into pages and execute immediately. Okay. You can also set this to do it automatically for each thing you scan uh, rather than have to choose it every time. That's just up to you. It's just part of the settings that you can fool around with when you have a scan snap. Uh, if you're doing a lot of documents together and you want them to just recognize automatically, you can set that to the default setting. And of course you can have different settings for different kinds of documents. While that's processing, let me just mention that I'm going to assume that these documents are yours, that you have uh, access to them, and that you're not going to be distributing this in violation of copyright. This is just something that uh, helps you out. It's an interesting, it's a useful thing to have a uh, document in digital form because you can, you don't have to store it on a shelf for one thing. Also you can search it, right? You can just do control F when you have the PDF open and find what you were looking for rather than have to go and, and search through manually. Okay? Okay, now it's finished. It lets me know it processed the file, there were no errors or anything, and it says okay. Okay? And now, if you'll notice, down at the bottom, there's now a little A next to the little thumbnail of the document I scanned. There's a little A, and that means that it's recognized. So if I were to go in and open this with Acrobat, which is the default program for PDFs, okay? Here is a digital copy of the physical file that I scanned, right? It's a faithful digital copy. And if I were to go to the select tool and select some of the text, you can see that the text is recognized. Okay? Now we basically have an ebook. This is a PDF file that's created by the ScanSnap software. And if you had an iPad or similar device that reads PDFs, you could just read this on your iPad or on your computer. Like I said, you can just go up to Find, and you can find, you know, let's say we're looking for hot water. Well, then, you know, it finds it because it's recognized now. But let's say you want to go one step further take the text in this document and turn it into an audiobook. In that case, what I do is go up here to View. In that case, what I do is go up here to View. Go up here to View in Adobe Acrobat. Go to Page Display and select Single Page Continuous. And now you will notice that I can scroll through and see more than one page at a time. You can see half of one and half of the other. That's necessary because then you can do, I'm just going to do Control A on the keyboard, which is going to select all of the text throughout the document. No matter how many pages it has, that text is now selected and then if I do either control C or right click and copy do either one of those it will now copy the text into the memory and then open in your favorite text editor such as notepad or in this case edit plus and paste and this is the text Okay, you'll notice it was in columns, so it's it doesn't spread outward. It just maintains the same column appearance because it was in columns in the document. 
So now we could just take this and make it into a audio file using text aloud. But usually when you have a book that you or a document or a book or any printed matter, uh, many times there are extra stuff that you want to clean out of it first, especially headers and footers. For example, this document has a footer that says the page number and then it says week 11 on every page. Right? Week 11 on each page. So, if it was a novel or something, it might have the, the, the name of the novel on one page and it might have the chapter name on the other page. Something like that. And if you were going to convert this text file into an audio file, you wouldn't want it to repeat that header or footer information every time you finish a page. That would get very annoying very soon. So, there's another program called Regex Buddy. That's R E G E X B U D D Y. And what this program does is it identifies lines of text that you don't want and it can strip them out. Okay, so let's say this is the text I'm working with. I'm going to do Control A again and Control C to copy. Regex Buddy. It has two modes. It has one called match and one called replace. So I'm going to go into match mode first. And in the test area, I'm going to paste that text. Paste. And this is the text I'm working with and I want to strip some of those lines out of. Okay, so that one... This is more of an art than a science to strip out the unwanted stuff. And you have to recognize patterns. So, they include a library with Regex Buddy that has some common things uh, that you might look for. And under the one called lines, if I look up lines, I'm going to match a complete line partially matched by a regex. So I'm going to use that one. And then I noticed that all the lines at the bottom, all the footers, they included the word WEEK, W-E-E-K in capital letters. So I'm going to match the lines that include weak in capital letters, W-E-E-K. All right, go back to the test area. And now I'm going to match all those lines. And these are the matches. I can take a look and I can see these are the ones I want. It says week 11, 201, and then 202, week 11. So it's getting all the page numbers that I want to strip out. I check that and make sure it's right, and then I go over to where it says replace, and replace all matches. Uh, up here I was replacing that with nothing, so I'm just going to strip them out basically. So this is the output, and it's taken all those headers, or footers rather, out, and they will not appear anymore. So if I copy that now, do control A, control C, copy, and paste back into here, now you'll see a lot of those lines are gone. So they will not be spoken in the audiobook version. Okay? We still have some stuff here that we might not want, so we might have to take that out by hand. Like I said, it's more of a art than a science. But if you recognize patterns like that, like, like all the lines you don't want have the word weak in them or something, then you can make it easier on yourself. Also, you can look for lines that begin with numbers or end with numbers. There are different regex patterns you can use in that. Let's assume that...